Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So today I already did a tutorial on Lady. I wanted to break this up into two parts just because it would be an extremely long video and I didn't want to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead. We drew Lady. If you haven't seen, if you haven't drawn Lady yet, make sure you jump over. I'll put the link down below that links to Lady's video and how to draw her and at this whole scene of the um, the wonderful famous scene of the spaghetti eating from Disney's Lady and the Tramp. What I'd like to do is to go ahead, their faces are kind of close at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a circle off of this box that we made over in Lady's video. So we laid out where they're supposed to be and how close they're supposed to be in Lady's video. Draw this circle off of this box. Dogs have very similar lines, guidelines. We have our eye guideline, and then we have our nose guideline. Right about down here. We have a similar thing where we have this nose ridge that is building up off of Tramp's eyes. So I'm gonna go down the middle and bring out that nose ridge, and then it's gonna go outwards. Place one eye off to the side. It is an oval, we'll shape it up in a bit and then another oval off to the side over here. Nice and big. Let's start with the left side of his eye first, where we're going to make that corner. And then we have a dimple that's creasing up towards his eye, and his eye, and then the oval goes up, round it out, and then this way. And then we have an eyelid on Tramp. And he does have an eyelash line, but it does not fluff outwards like ladies. It's just a dark eyelash line. And we do not see any irises in Tramp. He just has big pupil black eyes. And they're looking upwards to the left. The shine is over in this corner. And we can go ahead and fill that in. Now let's go ahead and jump over here and shape up this one. We're going to start with the thick eyelash line that's going off the side of his eye. His eye is coming outwards off of his face and back into his face. And the pupil is tucked up into the left corner. Draw in the shine and then fill in the pupil. And this is looking like a bunch of jumbleness. I'm just going to lightly erase around here. I'd like to build up this side of his face first. So above his eyebrow, we're going to go up. And then we're going to jump over to the nose ridge and we're going to meet that side of his eyebrow. And then we have this part of his face underneath his eye that's going outwards and back into his nose. And then we have a couple of fluffy fluffs off to the side of his eye. It's not, not his eyelashes, it's just the part of his face. And then we have his cheek. Then we're going to go ahead and start bringing out his beard. So it goes outwards and it starts to go down. I'd like to jump back up to his eyebrow over here. It's a big, thick, fluffy eyebrow. And then it builds up. It's actually gonna go down and above his eye. So it goes off to the side and down. Now he has sections around his eye, unlike Lady where this line is going to judge where our sections are gonna go. It's more of the white sections around his eyes. So this would be his white section over here and then the white section is built up over here. So I'm gonna jump off to the right side of his left eye, go up, make a little bit of a corner, start to go upward, make that eyebrow arch, and then go back down into his pupil. And we want to make sure that if this part of the circle is even with this eyebrow because the eyebrow is going to line the top of the circle. So we can go ahead and make this thick eyebrow. One eyebrow is going off the side and then this one is circling around his eye section. We can go ahead and draw his nose and we can actually fix this noodle because they are closer and the, the noodle's a little bit tighter to where they do kiss each other. Now with the nose, I'm going to start, I'm going to build up off of this part, which is actually gonna go in front. It's gonna go in front, outwards, down, 
and in back into the overall nose. And I can go ahead and get rid of this noodle. I don't have to get rid of it out of Lady's mouth, but I can get rid of it out of Tramp's mouth now that we're drawing Tramp. <laughs> Bring this down, go this way. Now, he has a shine, in the, a shine in his nose to divide up the sections of his nose instead of really defining it with lines. And it's downwards, and it's just a little bit of a shine, and it goes up and down. And then I can go ahead and color in his nose. What I'd like to do, I'm gonna jump down right below that and make his lip and kind of curve it off to the left side just a little bit. And then I'm gonna build up off that lip where I go, see how I went upwards making a little bridge? Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up and back into this fluffy part and I can make that fluffy. Cause he does look like a snouser. I know he's not a tramp, but he's got a beard. I mean, I know he's not a snouser, but he's a tramp. But he has a beard and we have to build up off of that. And we're gonna go down. We're gonna stop there because what I'd like to do is jump back to his nose and for the division of his nose, it's his marking. So I'm gonna go upwards from the top of this part, from the top of his nose, just sort of kind of in the middle of where we made this. We're gonna divide up his nose, go down, and then up, and then curve downwards. And this section is going to be mostly his dimple to his smile, because he's a happy puppy. We're gonna bring down his beard again, curve it into his mouth, part. This is very, very important that we have this lip line. We can kind of give him a couple of fluffies here and there just because he has a furry dog. Fluffy here, fluffy there. And then after this beard is done, go ahead and bring up his neck from his chin. So I'm jumping off to the side from where this break is. Bring down his neck. He's got a skinnier neck. Bring this down. And then I'm gonna go ahead, jump off, down, make his his shoulders a little bit more angle angular, bring it down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump down from here. I'd like where my neck placement is. I'm just gonna go ahead and curve it inwards. I want to make sure my shoulders are even, so that's what I'm working on right now. because he does have these, that's just to give, give a little bit of a manly feature to a dog, is they do have broad shoulders. And down. Most importantly, Tramp's ears. He has big ears. I'm gonna start right in the middle of his head, go up, off to the side, and then I'm gonna go back to where I started, just a little bit off to the side, curve upward, bring this down into a triangle. We want this triangle shape to give that folded ear look. I'm gonna jump in the middle of that ear. And then I'm gonna jump down below this floppy ear, go down and into his head. So it's gonna go inwards and then down, back and down. So we are seeing the pinks of his ears and then this side is just going to cover up everything. I'm gonna jump above his eyebrow, right about here. Go up, bring this down. After that, I'm gonna bring this inwards, and then I'm gonna jump right back up here. And it's gonna get really close to his eyebrow. He has these big floppy ears. Close to his eyebrow, and then it's gonna go outwards. Actually, gonna make this a little bit more skinnier. Goes down more towards his face. There we go, that's better. Not too crazy. Crazy, but not crazy ears. So starting from where we have his neck laid out right here, bring down this side, and then this part is gonna go in, 
and then we have fluffy white chest hair going out this way and into the table. I'm gonna clean these up just a little bit because he does have a fluffy white chest. Now what we can do is, this is why I did not ink Lady in her noodle, <laughs> because now I can go ahead and connect these, this noodle coming from both of their mouths and they're gonna kiss it's adorable puppy love there we are now we have our noodle and now I'd like to go ahead and draw the plate and the overall table the table is checkered like an Italian restaurant usually has all right so the plate big oval on the table and then we have after we draw our overall plate I can draw the inside the rim of the plate we have a meatball and a couple of noodles. You can just go crazy with this, however you would like. Just so we see, we are eating spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, now I'm hungry. And then we can just Go ahead, go ahead and just mark off the table with some checkered pattern. And I'm rounding it off like this just to give it the impression that it's the table and we have more of the more of the table going this way to where it sees the candles. Now I want to go ahead and mark off where Tramp's markings are. Alrighty guys, there you go. There is how to doodle Lady and the Tramp, the famous spaghetti scene. We all know the spaghetti scene from Disney's Lady and the Tramp. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was the Tramp's tutorial. If you not, if you have not drawn Lady's tutorial, make sure you go ahead and draw hers first before you draw Tramp because that's where I kind of lay everything out. I'll link it down below. But yes guys, I hope you all enjoy this video and have a most wonderful Valentine's Day. See you all later.